Welcome back to RC 101 with the Dallas Flyer. Let's take a look at the brand new Eshin Wizard X220 FPV Racer. This uses a 900 TVL FPV camera, very nice camera there. It's even got a flat glass camera protector to protect your wide angle lens if you get into a crash. Very uh, wide range of positions there. Of course it has a USB port for reprogramming your onboard flight controller. And it has a nice rubber grommet here, which is a nice addition to uh, help eliminate any shaking that might occur between your antenna and your connection, which will help eliminate static. Of course, they've done away with the tilted motor mounts that they were using on the Falcon series here. These give you a nice extra boost of speed, but personally, I think that should be the pilot's choice to put on tilted motor mounts because it's just a little bit too much speed. Now of course the ready to fly package doesn't come with rotors. Uh, these triple bladed rotors actually came in a separate package. These are multi-leaf propeller series unbreakable props. I don't know if they're unbendable or unbreakable but they should be pretty strong so we'll test those out and see how they work. Of course it uses a 1500 milliamp 11.1 .1 volt 25C 3 cell rechargeable LiPo battery with a standard charging connector so you can charge it with your own charger. And it's kind of a blend between an X-frame quad rotor and the Falcon series with the box body. So let's go ahead and plug it in and take a quick look at this FPV camera and see how the video looks use our Yixin monitor here. This is our 5802D LCD monitor. And there is our video stream. Pretty smooth, pretty clean, nice wide angle lens. We'll see how it does in different lighting conditions and we'll charge the aircraft up, take it outside, see how she flies. is our hover. Seems to be flying quite well. But it does take skill to fly something like this. There's no auto stabilization or anything like that. This is a straight up racer. How's my video signal look there? It looks good. Getting any static? No, it's very clear. No static at all, unlike all the other ones. Right, so I'm going to bring her in for a landing and we'll try some FPV flight with it. Good soft foam landing pads there. Keep it going. I'm using my Eshin EV800s here. Can't wear my glasses with them, but uh, I modified them so that the screen is a little closer to my eyes, and uh, that's what all the tape is for here. But let's test it out.
caught a uh, limb there, but still going. Definitely handles itself really well. I'm glad that uh, Ishin left the uh, tilted motor mount off of this thing. I would have hated to have those on this. It's got enough speed as it is. And this is not full acro mode. This is just standard flight mode. They're actually selling this one right now for I think like 179 bucks, ready to fly. That's a short-term sell. I think the full price is going to be like 200 bucks. But for a ready-to-fly racer, this thing's getting some great range. Signal's really good. No on-screen display, so I don't know what my voltage is right now. Should get about oh. Eight to ten minutes worth of flight time worth it. But I would say eight minutes is kind of pushing it. But I have to say, I am reasonably impressed with the Eshin Wizard X220 here. and bring her in for a landing there. You know, it performs really well. The uh, triple bladed props work great. The Ishin uh, 800 VR goggles are uh, really good with it. Ishin has built a really nice racer here. You know, it's got the traditional X racer frame there and Ishin's Falcon signature box body design. It's a pretty small racer. But I think you could definitely compete with something like this, you know. Uh, definitely give it a try. Check it out. As always, we appreciate you watching RC 101 with the Dallas Flyer. Don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for more.